Honestly, my back. How long was I down there for? And how are we doing, guys? Are we good? Everybody good? Hey, sick of this. Yes. Happy Monday, NG. Nice to see you. Yes. So, Fred. Good weekend. I'm not bad, mate. How was you? You guys, uh, you don't know who Mr. Cammy B is. Very, 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 very cool guitar player. Let's bring it down with the cleans. Hey, Joey's here as well. What's up, Joey? Michael, what's happening? Tommy. Well, welcome, man. Daryl Santos, what's up, man? Nice to see you here. Maybe it's the first time for a live. And we are streaming 
as a rare occasion on my Facebook page as well. And you guys have been going crazy and sharing all the videos recently, which is really, really cool. Thank you guys so much for that. <laughs> Michael, what's up? Yeah, I, I was asleep behind the couch earlier, mate. So I don't know. <laughs> Good to see you guys here. Should we get the Octave Ralph? It's been a while, hasn't it? It's been a while. Can we get the Octave Ralph? I hope I've saved it. That's not, that's definitely not, not an Octave. Where's my Octave? I've got a, I've got a patch somewhere here. That sounds like it. Alright, does that sound like we've got an octave on? I can't quite hear in the room. Yeah? Like it. You like that one? <laughs> yeah. Always good to have a jam with the Octave. I like it. Well, one of my favorite. Let's get that diminished. Yeah, that's what everybody needs. Yeah, we need, uh, we should bring some percussion and stuff like that in. And that's what we need. I think very soon, loopers, percussives, and maybe even some synths. So we're gonna be uh, adding even more gear to the stream. How was everybody's weekends? How was the uh, how was the Halloween stuff? Was all all right? No accidents, no pumpkin explosions. Everybody safe? Everybody good? Yeah. So uh, yeah, we were streaming on all of the Fishman channels today, and like I say, as a, an added bonus, thought it'd be fun to stream on my McRockland Facebook page as well. Uh, lots of new followers over there, and uh, it's great to see you guys are enjoying the videos and uh, are now uh, to join us for a little stream here. Played with some friends. That was all well yesterday. That's all you need. It's all you need. So we're gonna play some tracks today, play some music. First time I played guitar actually uh, since the Saturday night stream with Hutch on YouTube, yeah. A couple of hours playing. So yeah, we're gonna play some tracks today. Get the fingers fired up. Later tonight, we're gonna be streaming on my Twitch channel, talking about a couple of things. Got some new things going on. Uh, we're making some uh, changes so we'll be maybe going through all that stuff uh sean yeah had a blast over here people were coming into my neighborhood in droves and it was super busy but very fun it's all right it sounds good to me uh cami b spent the weekend getting my ass kicked in demon souls infuriating game i haven't tried it 
man. Bro, do you give one-on-one -on -one sessions? Uh, yes, I do. Um, limited sp spots, don't do it a huge amount, but you can book it. Um, easiest way to get to it is mcrockland.com forward slash links. That'll take you to uh, one of the top places where you can book a one-on-one -on -one session. So yes, yeah, we can do that. New track coming soon. This track is not mixed, it's not produced. This track is gonna have a special guest on it. We're waiting for his guitar parts to come whilst we're waiting for his guitar parts to arrive. Let's have a little jam over it. It's, on, it's in B minor. If you have a guitar in front of you, grab your guitar. Actually, have to, I have to track my guitar parts very soon for this, so this will probably be a, <laughs> probably a nice little exercise. <laughs> track to jam over. I'm gonna have to mix it up on the actual recording version. some arpeggios. Oh, how was that for an arpeggio? Very nice, thank you, Sean. There's some arpeggios. With a little bit of added shred. Be the one. So I'm going to record the guitar soon. <laughs> Very cool. Um, speaking of arpeggios, if you want all of the arpeggios and tapping and riffage and licks and all the techniques to be a modern shred player, um, right now we've got um, up to, well, 90% off. Um, the URL's up there, mcrockland.com forward slash sale. 90% uh, off Guitar Techniques 101. So grab yourself a bargain. Um, there's 54 crispy HD videos. I don't even know how many hours is in this course, but you know, download it, put it on your hard drive, 
save it for Christmas. I don't know, you know, put it on your hard drive because uh, it's, a, it's a real, real great deal right now. <laughs> Uh, one thing I've been meaning to do and want to do uh, at some point today, and by the way, let me, if you're new to the stream and you're not sure what the hell is going on, let me give you a little bit of, bit of a breakdown of the gear and the guitar and stuff like that. Uh, so the guitar is a Kiesel Osiris. Obviously, I play mostly headless guitars these days. Um, just feels really nice, ni nicely balanced and very comfortable to play. And... Um, uh, yeah, if you have any questions on that stuff as well, just let me know. Um, but the sale is on mcrockland.com forward slash sale. Put this forward slash sale on it, bang, you'll be straight to the checkout with the exclusive deal. And if you add the 90% off deal to your basket, then there's an even more ridiculous special offer for you anyway there. So check that out. Uh, but yeah, this is a Kiesel Osiris. This uh, set of pickups is the Fishman Fluence Toast in a Basi set, one of my favorite all-time Fishman Fluence sets. Just, just so versatile. I mean, you heard the, the lead stuff. And then the neck. But then if we go on those splits. Really, really, really sort of crystal HD. Such a versatile set, really, really great set. So I'm using uh, those on this guitar and um, still need your set. I know, Michael, Michael, big news coming soon. It's happening. It's all good. Um, Hutch is so laid back, his legato is so effortless. I don't think you have to, yeah, I know. He's very much, uh, he loves his legato, huh? I'm like, I'm like smashing into it hard with the alternate pickups, uh, picking. We're like totally different in that regard. You know, he, he's like, I'm like, give me that power. <laughs> I like Legato sometimes, but not as much as Hutch. <laughs> Kiesel guitars are really awesome. I, I, I think so. I've been with those guys for just over three years now. Great brand, lovely guys, and amazing instruments. So I'm, I'm, I'm happy. Um, <laughs> so yeah, Fishman Fluence, Toast and Set on this guitar. Um, I do use this, a super five-way switch and um, a lot of people when they get their guitar and it has a uh, Fishman Fluence pickups in it, you might have a three-way switch and that's one thing that just drives me absolutely insane because you might have seen me like smashing up and down. Jordan Ross! Yes. I, I use the switch a lot. I'm using a Quad Cortex by Neural DSP for a lot of my tones today. If I'm not using the Quad Cortex, then I can switch other sounds um, we have eight different sounds already on tap. Um, so if you can imagine, that's quite a lot of signal chains, eight individual signal chains all on tap. Each one has special... <laughs> special effects on tap. So there's, there's a lot of crazy stuff. Um, I'm going to do some more breakdowns of behind the scenes stuff for um, some of my new members channels, features on YouTube. That'll be announced very soon because a lot of people are really interested in all the, the silly stuff that all of this stuff takes uh, to make it happen. So, uh, hey Benjamin, welcome mate. Um, yeah, so that's a little bit about, you know, some of the tones and guitars, but if you have any questions on the guitars, the pickups, the gear, uh, fire it into the chat. If you've got any questions about the course that's running, I think today might be the last day, possibly tomorrow, but I think it was intended to be a 48 hour thing. We started it yesterday. So um, don't don't hang back too much on that course if you if you want to pick it up at the 90% off deal, literally brings it down from like $299 to $29, and the other offer is even more ridiculous. So grab it whilst you can. And all the courses are actually the really one-on-one -on -one guitar courses. So if you haven't tried advanced tap and tapping or alternate picking or riff playing before. It's not just straight in at the deep end, it's, it's really, it's good for everybody as well. Even if it's like your first year or two playing guitar. Oof. This is a track called uh, Come by McRocklin and Hutch. 
Bar. Change this pig. He will not be crazy. <laughs> The G string is a little flat, guys. I can tell that. And I'm waiting for the right purpose, the right choice to get it tuned up. There we go. Six cents flat. I'm glad you guys noticed that too, as well. track <laughs> yeah it's one of my favorites to play when it's in tune especially whoa on the topic of riding out did you have a primary guitar you recorded with um were you using the ibanez model at the point or I'd, yeah at that point at this point i'd already switched to playing uh kiesel so that's a good question, actually, because riding out wasn't, you know, kind of that long, really, after I started playing Kiesel. Um, yeah, I, I think it was mostly the Zeus, perhaps the Osiris, um, because it, the Osiris was the first guitar that I got sent to check out. And that was the one that kind of like solid, solidified everything. I was like, oh, man, yes, yes, this works. Yo, welcome from Chile. Nice to see you here today. Yeah, so yeah, um, what was the order? I forget, and then it kind of changed like so rapidly because, you know, obviously it went from like zero to 60 to zero to 200 miles an hour with Kiesel very, very quickly. Um, yeah, I, I, I think Osiris, Zeus, and then maybe it switched up and had like a DC and then all the other ones starting to arrive rapidly after that. But yeah, but I still like the, uh, the Osiris. I think it's a really, really cool shape. Zeus probably is my go-to though. I have the Zeus still lined on its side from the stream the other day. I guess you don't really get to see a Zeus and an Osiris like. Hey from Hey to Greece. We got Greece in the house. Welcome. Let's try and stack them up. Imagine if we had a double neck guitar like this. It'd be a little bit crazy, wouldn't it? 
Yeah, um, okay. Now yeah, this is more difficult than I thought it would be. <laughs> crack, crack. Yeah, kind of similar size though. I guess it's just those little bits of horns. A little bit of horn. Thinking about buying a DC, oh man. Uh, you know, I have a DC and I really, really like it. I actually, I kind of liked it when I first got it. And then I, I mostly used it for triple, uh, Fishman triple play stuff and it's amazing for that. But then recently I started picking it up and actually playing it more as a guitar. I had like a whole month where I was playing it a lot, so. Um, <laughs> can you imagine, Sean? Yeah. Yeah, he's like, oh, oh yeah. Two necks, a uh, one jumbo body that's based on an Osiris and Zeus. That might be a little funky. Yeah, maybe a little bit too funky for me. Hi, man. Hi, man. Tabo, welcome. Tabo, haha. Nice name. Very nice name. Um, I don't know. Yeah, yeah. Double necks. Ooh, what, what's your thoughts, guys, on double necks? Yes or no? It's an interesting one. I kind of see the point. But like moving around and stuff like that, ugh, I don't know, could, could get messy really quick. Could get really messy. Not for me, neither, yeah. Oh, I still have the looper still on. Let's try it. Let's make sure we're in tune and try something real quick. You guys want to choose a key? See who's the quickest. Who, who wants to choose, choose a key? Oh, wrong signal chain. I can't... <laughs> we'll see who's the quickest. How about some whammy action? I, I went absolute B minor. I went crazy on the whammy bar. Key of B. B wins, doesn't it? Oh. B, B sharp, you know C, C minor is a great key. We had some good jams in C minor. L the actual legit B minor, the B sharp, the legit B sharp minor. But B's, B's won, F sharp minor, A minor, all good keys. Uh, but B minor wins. All right, we're gonna do it. Dreamy chords, let's try. Let's try this. Um... Michael, thank you so much. Okay. I oh, appreciate that, mate. Thank you. Absolutely, Michael, never. I'm uh, currently working on my next version of my guitar style. you made.
It's nice. I, I, I like the little progression. Hey, thank you, Nick. Nice to see you, mate. I'm looking around like, how do we stop it? But it's a looper. Yeah, so um, speaking of loopers, I think um, at some point, Boss RS6, RC600, we're gonna look at one of those, ex expand on the looping stuff, bring it all, a bit more live stuff. Dreamy soundscapes are my favorite. Yeah, I love them too. Anything with just lots of ambience works for me. <laughs> So there's a couple of things that we want to do later on today on the stream. Uh, one is we're going to look at how we can make a community video for an official song release that has one epic... I can't give too much clues on it, <coughs> but it's a very, very special guest guitarist on um, one of the... actually. We've got some very, very special guests on the next McRockland Hutch album, but this particular track um, has an amazing special guest guitarist. I'm gonna try and make, or at least script out a sort of uh, video. And the cool thing is, is you guys, anybody that has a phone, you can be involved, okay? it's It's got a bit of a theme, but we're gonna need to sort of um, expand on it a little bit further. So tonight um, on, uh, what could be one of the, the last Twitch streams in some time. Um, let's, uh, let's start getting this script together because uh, I think we could make an, a really fun, really awesome video. So uh, that will be tonight. Uh, looking at around about 10 p.m. UK uh, on twitch.tv forward slash McRocklin. And uh, I'll be a blast. And if you've got, well, we'll, we'll discuss, discuss all the details. You'll be there tonight. No, nice, Nick. Yeah, it should be fun. Um, it'll be good, and um, yeah, it'll be a chance for you guys to, to get in the video in a really fun way as well, so. Um, thanks for the discount code, can't wait to start. Oh, Adam, you're very welcome. Hopefully, uh, hopefully uh, I mean, the transactions seem to be absolutely smooth. self are absolutely fantastic when it comes to stores, so that's who we're using specifically for this uh, special offer that we're running, and... Um, Everybody's just been uh, blazing through it without any issues, so. Um, yeah, uh, and again, I think later on today or tomorrow morning, that will probably be uh, finished, you know. We, we, <laughs> we can't keep running 90% off for so long. But yeah, glad you, uh, glad you hopefully uh, you got sorted out, man. Yeah, so it might be a fun stream tonight. Um, when does the, uh, Tommy, the discount, um, probably today will be the final day. You know, it might spill over till tomorrow morning, depending on what time we end it, but it's certainly within, you know, the next 24 hours maximum. Yeah, it's not like a seven day um, sale. Last time we won a, we started and we did like a, a sort of five day or seven day sale. Um, this is uh, not really that. This is just a, a one-off 48 hour sale, so we're already into the second day, so yeah, depending on uh, what time we can get <laughs> the Gareth out of bed to switch it off. So uh, yeah, love the stream to be honest. Oh, thank you. Nice to, nice to have you here. Um, yeah, if you have any questions on Fishman, uh, let me know. Um, obviously, you know, I've said it so many times, but Fishman Fluence, massive part of my sound um the versatility and cleanness of or purity of tone is what really 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 makes all the difference to me you know whether it's ripping leads beautiful clean sounds just makes all that difference you know one of my personal favorite things about the fisherman pickups as well is sitting in front of your computer tracking and recording so much like like no buzz, no buzz, like you're tuning in a radio or something like that. It's really cool. You should pull out the synthesizer pedal. You know what? Um, I actually, 
have the RC, uh, sorry, not RC, the SY pedal plugged in, but I actually replaced the wiring with the uh, the looper. Um, but at some point, that's something that I want to do, get the, uh, the SY back in so I can just quickly jump on a certain sound, like a lead sound or something. It's really fun when you blend that in. And the other thing is, is um, uh, I've been using uh, some more of the Eventide um, like reverbs and uh, cho uh, choruses and stuff. And uh, we have um, about five different uh, pedals of this series sent out. And um, I want to see if I can get the, uh, certainly the, the, is it called the Tricer Chorus? That very, very lush chorus that they do. Uh, I'm going to try and get that wired in as well. So I don't know if we'll, we'll do that later on on tonight's stream. It might be a little bit more chilled out chatting talking about the script and the the sort of uh the video that you guys are going to be involved in and uh rewind some stuff yeah just some chilled mondays or ease into the week all right <laughs> but uh let's play another track though let's play another track let's play maybe uh something that uh something that gets us uh a good workout let's try uh from clear skies.
Bolts of the bottle. What's up, mate? Uh, yes, also, I just remembered this guitar, it does not have fresh strings, hence why the G string was a little bit flat earlier and uh, has a little bit of tuning issue now and again. These strings have been absolutely hammered and then it gets put down, we move on to the next guitar, we hammer it, and then we move on to the next guitar and we hammer it, and blah, 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 blah. So we keep hammering them and then at some point I realize, oh gosh. I like playing that guitar, needs fresh strings. So after Halloween night, we we got real goosebumps. Listen, listening to all that guitar skills, man. Oh man. Thank you. A funk! A funk diddle, what a name as well. Thank you, buddy. <laughs> mm. Yes, yes, it does, it does, it does, Sean. <laughs> ah, we know what that is. Um, all right, where we are? I think we got time for one more track. Yeah, we got one more chat. We got a time for more tracks. One more track, bit of chat. Um, yeah. Um, how long did it take you to get your fret hand to move like that? Or is it just got skipped? Um, no, everything is calculated, practiced, rehearsed. As in, like obviously, live stuff like this. There's so much stuff going on. So a live stream like this never is it's never going to be perfect you know because i've literally not played until today the levels aren't loud enough for me to hear things properly right now it's actually quite low in my room normally i'd crank it up but i've got a bunch of gear in the way of the audio interface and i can't really be bothered to go climb over it and you know so I'm, I'm like okay that's fine so that affects my timing and then the guitar it's like hasn't been used in a couple of weeks so i've been using the zeus and type x so the you know so you just have to kind of do the, the best you can in any situation. And I think that's always a good way of looking at it because, you know, this, you're going to go on a stage, you're going to jam in a store, you're going to be in an unusual situation. And, you know, when you hit that shock of something not being quite perfect, and it's like, oh, how do you react? You know, you got to be positive in that situation. Otherwise, the negative adrenaline is going to pull you down. It's going to make you self-oscillate into self-oscillate downwards the downward spiral you go so um you always got to have a level of confidence tommy in, in like your approach so um so that question is like a little bit more um complex than what you're sort of asking how to improv well we have a full lesson that's all about breaking out of the the sort of box and you know what what are good things to go for if you're stuck? Playing in the same sounds, the same licks. How, how do you start to, to push into new sounds, new territories? Maybe it's with the scales and, and, and sort of theory that you already know as well. So um, if you haven't already checked out, um, check out School of McRock. There's a 14 day free trial and um, just binge watch as many of the lessons as you like. Um, you know, we've got tons and tons of members that swear by School of McRock and you know they've got amazing things to say about it and it's changed their plane and it's kind of broke them out of the mold so um you know I, I I really really love making those lessons every week and passing as much insights that I feel will be really valuable and useful to you guys as guitarists no matter if you've been playing for just one year or 30 years and you just have a, a new you know, lease of energy and you want to really progress. So um, yeah, check out School of McGrock. Once I saw Steve Vai panic live on stage when his axe effects bugged out a little bit, I can only imagine what the stress whilst being at the spot with everybody watching is. Oh yeah, you know, you know, what? well, you know, what's the worst that can happen, you know? You know? You know, it's like, you have to think, you know, if it all goes drastically wrong, well, you stop the song. You, you jump on the mic, you explain. It's fine, you know. Everybody's there, you know. I, you know, understands where you put a, put a lot of pressure on your, yourself and you want everything to be perfect. But uh, you can only do what you can do, right? So, um, been playing for 40 years, Michael, you know. 
Yes, mate. Yes. Um, and thanks for picking up the uh, the course earlier as well, Michael. Uh, do you still hear from any of the guys from Bad for Good? Watch the 19 video. Look, <laughs> Jamie. Yes. Um, not that often. I probably connect with maybe Danny the most recently. Um, I've, I've sort of hooked up with Zach a couple of times when I've been in LA and I've seen Brooks over here and met Brooks over there. So we're, we're all, compared to five years ago, we are all a lot more connected than we were then. But, um, oh, thank you. Thank you, uh, Michael. So, um, you know, uh, what, you know, just on that question there, whenever I go for improv, I always end up with the same, with those old pentatonic licks. You know, there's so many easy ways that you can switch switch it up um, with different intervals, different no choices, and different shifts in positions. So um, there's there's probably three or four specific lessons to deal with that exact issue on School of McRock. So you know, I, I would suggest maybe grabbing a free trial. The courses, obviously, is, you know that's going to be really useful if you want the the sort of shred techniques and the theory stuff because there's an exclusive add-on um, stuff on that but if you want to go through all of the lessons over time bear in mind we've been running for about a year and a half and we've been uploading uh, a lesson every single week so no matter what the subject is there's something for everybody on there um, all right QQ do you think the triple play system would fit well on a headless guitar perhaps not enough space between the bridge and pickup thinking about uh, getting a guitar for it that's a really good question um, you know, I can probably tell you right now. So let's see if a triple play would fit between a bridge and a humbucker on a Kiesel headless guitar. So here we have the triple play wireless system. So I guess the, the main issue is, is kind of what, what we're gonna do with this part of it, you know? Obviously, if we had a body like I use on my DC, we kind of go there. The actual pickup part, um, yes, totally fine. So I'm thinking for me, I'm thinking that would be quite neat like that because we've got a nice little flat space on the Zeus, Osiris, and it's not really getting in the way. When I'm hitting it like this, it's not touching it. So I think that would be even neater because that way you've seen sometimes when I'm really going crazy, my forearm can, you know, whack it. I mean, the magnets are pretty damn strong, but still, if you're in a stage environment, you want to bring out a sawtooth lead, have that, you know, like over the top. So um, could you move the knobs if the guitar rubbed against the body? Could you move the knobs if the guitar rubbed against your body? Could you move the knob? Which guitar, which knob? Oh, this knob? You see, I don't really use this knob too much. I, I, I'm much more of a, but yeah, let me, let me put it back in situation. Yes. Yeah, there's still like, there's like a whole one and a half, two inches gap between you and the body. And you can reach down easily and adjust those settings and knob. So I would say mount it on the back, personally. I mean, you don't really have much other choice, but at least that, that for me, it solves the problem as opposed to, oh, there's only one place you can put it on the back. I think it's actually good. So, sorry, the switch on the triple play. Ah, yeah, no, no, you can access all of it. Yeah, yeah, um, because it's getting mounted here. And um, obviously, if, you, if you're not sure like what, what you're doing, then, you know, but for me personally, uh, I tend to use it literally, like I turn a synth on in uh, Ableton, boom, it all kind of works straight away. But yeah, so I think, yeah, it would work. And it's clean, yeah. I think it's, it's probably cleaner looking. <laughs> All right, where are we at? Um, that was a good question though. Let's do one more track and then jump on a few questions and then we'll get ready later on. We'll do some uh, 
some streaming and uh, movie stuff. There was a request for Distorted Dreams earlier. I I, 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 I always struggle to find this track in the set because I've, I've moved it so many times, but I think... Let's try it! I don't wanna do it no more. I don't wanna do it no more. Let me cry. No, not really, no. There we go. It's really e easy to watch Thomas play a threatened hand while he plays, but notice all the picking hand magic to him. Thank you, mate. I'm amazed at how much he moves and rests his pick in his hand. Yeah, you know, I've, I've, that is one habit that I've, I've got is I'm changing picking angles and different motions so often. And a lot of the time I've, I've resorted to like flicking the strings, just plucking the strings, you know? In, in the case of like the... <laughs> A lot of time on that part there, I'll kind of flick it. Right there, in the track, when it goes to that D note, it flicks the five-way straight down as well. Very tricky solo. Very tricky solo to play at pace that. Uh, thank you. 
Ah, uh, wow, thank you guys, too kind. Ah, uh, yeah, it is very, yeah, I mean, because the, the tone variations that you get, it's, it's, it's quite, quite vast, you know, so. And if you combine that with all the pickup switching, I think it allows you to get a lot of a lot of extra tone from the guitar, just from like different pick strokes, different sweep strokes, and stuff like that. So yeah, um, sp speaking of different tones and stuff, I, I want to overhaul my whole setup a little bit. I want to have four and four, um, so four lead, well, four gain tones and four clean tones. I kind of already do have that at the moment, but I want to kind of clean it up, so to speak. So um, yeah. Um, did you ever have that breakthrough exercise that helped you pass through some sticky points? Um, we all, well, we all have kind of sticky points, you know, like every sort of irritation of like, of my plane, it's always going to be challenging and there's going to be some challenges. Um... But I think for the most part, you know, it, it, it's all just depends. Like if I want left hand strength or right hand dexterity. Um, and I kind of go in different um, sort of practice periods and practice modes, depending on what I'm, you know, practicing. But the, the biggest, most important way that I feel like I practice these days, because I, I don't actually practice very often, is recording new songs. Because recording a new song is my chance to now work on a new style, a new technique, a new approach and phrasing sort of series of licks. And then a lot of the time when, when I kind of track those ideas, I purposefully don't allow certain licks to be played, certain phrases to be played. So it's almost like I'm trying to be a fresh new guitar player for the solos of certain songs or certainly for certain sections. But then I have to relearn that stuff as one. And that is itself, it's like, a mega practice session, if that if that makes sense. So that's like my favorite way of practicing because then we get something at the end of it. We get a cool solo for a new song, um, and then we unfortunately get to relearn it, which is the, the sort of hard part because you know if you've tracked like three or four certain lines back to back, and it was really challenging like trying to do it, and then you have to learn that all as one piece, and suddenly that makes makes it very very challenging. So, um, you know, certainly things like distorted dream solos and stuff like that, that probably initially was pieced together. You know, I'm still sort of feeling out where does it want to go. It was very unlikely that it was all just done in one take initially. So, um, underestimate the position of the pick strokes around the pickups as well. Oh, yeah. Uh, especially um, backwards up strokes, like, you know, kind of like this, using the backside of the pick. That's something that I do a lot, you know. <laughs> Instead of down picking like that, I very rarely do that. I often pick stroke up with the side rear of the pick, um, which is typically the smoothest part because I haven't done any pick scrapes and stuff like that. So that means I can get. <laughs> stuff like that. Makes sense or not. <laughs> So uh, yeah, it's so interesting when you kind of get into all that stuff, isn't it? It's like, yeah, uh, we, could, we could talk about this stuff um, forever. augmented there so guys we are bang on an hour it's been a really quick hour playing some tracks hanging out playing some uh some mick rockland and hutch tracks for you guys it's been fun any final questions before we uh boil that kettle and get the tea ready because we, we're gonna do some uh, 
setting up for the stream tonight. We're gonna to be live on my Twitch channel at 10 p.m. So just under four hours from now on. So it's a welcome, mate, you're late. How's it going? I'm still enjoying the warm hug of the COVID. Oh, mate, keep me hot in bed. Oh, mate, get well soon. You hear at the end, it's a... Yeah, all right, cool. Uh, which advice can you give as a new player? Good online programs. Oh, John. I mean, if you're asking for on, what's, what's a good online program, you, obviously you have to check out School of McRock. Take a, take a free trial, schoolofmcrock.com. But that aside, you know, I would say, be very careful, you know, what you practice, how you practice, because five, 10 minutes of good practice will always beat three four hours of bad practice you know it's really really important in the early days that you don't invest time drilling in bad habits because at some uh, some point or later it's going to catch you and your potential maximum is going to be severely crippled and capped so then you're gonna have to battle the, the habits and it's it's very difficult so just you know those you know early days you know, if, especially if you're looking to get into like a certain type of plane, if it's like technical proggy plane, for example, you know, then certain certain techniques, you know, if, if you've been practicing wrong because you've just been looking at like random YouTube videos, um, it's going to be very, very difficult. So just be careful on those early days, you know. Um, or, or we, we actually are. Yeah, we went an hour. We changed an hour. So that's going to be interesting later, Sean. Yeah. Um, and for those of us in the US, you're an hour back now. Yeah, so I wonder if we started earlier today then. <laughs> this is weird. Um, what established band would I like to do a guest solo for? Um, you know, all of my favorite synthwave bands I've kind of, you know, been on, you know, like Gunship and um, even guys like Kallax and uh, Pilot. So I'd have to throw it out to something totally different. Um, like, I don't know, maybe Dre or something like that. There you go. Uh, will I stream on YouTube? I think we are possibly looking at making the shift. Um, so we're gonna discuss it tonight on Twitch, maybe. Um, but yeah, th there's a couple of reasons and a couple of benefits for people as well. So trying to try and give some more flexibility, some more options. And um, yeah, so we'll, we'll, we'll maybe have a chat about that later today as well. Would you please consider a raffle for one of your old gems you don't play? Uh, no. No, I probably wouldn't consider a raffle. If there was a reason to, you know, do something with it that had a big cause and a big stuff, then I would. But, um, but no, there's certain guitars that I just wouldn't give away. Um... So, but no, it's it's certainly not on the cards, <laughs> Jamie. I tell you what, though, you know, gear. There's the stuff I want to do with gear because there's 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 gear coming in. Um, that's that's gonna be you know surplus to requirements really. So, you know, that that's gonna be stuff that we're gonna be looking at. Um, you know, bonuses for members and stuff like that where we'll, we'll ship out, I don't know, it could be an Eventide pedal, it could be a Horizon device, it could be whatever overdrive pedal, but we certainly want to do more of that stuff. Um, yeah, you know, I, I don't want to do both. I want to kind of be on one, like, one platform. Um, I, I definitely don't want to dilute, you know. Obviously, when we stream on Fishman, you know, we, that's one thing. It's, a, it's more like an event, uh, and some people prefer certain platforms for certain reasons. But, um, but yeah, I think, um, I think, uh, when, when it comes to my stream, it, it's just going to be on one platform, you know, makes, makes the most sense. It's a cool prop you have on a belt for your left hand. <laughs> yeah. All right, guys. Well, listen, um, thank you everybody for hanging out with us today, for joining us on the Fishman stream. And, um, remember the, the sale it's in the final day so if you if you want to get a whopping 90 percent off guitar techniques 101 um that will be ending in the in the coming hours or day or so 
and um, yeah, 54 videos. I think there's seven full uh, lessons in that course. Um, picking, tapping, riffs, uh, sweeping, uh, hybrid picking. There's quite a bit. Uh, there's a full trailer about it actually. So if you want to know more, that's the easiest th thing. Check out mcrockland.com forward slash sale. Have a peek, see, uh, see what it does for you. And um, yeah, I'll, I'll see you guys a little bit later on on the stream over on uh, Twitch, twitch.tv forward slash McGrockland. So have a great day, guys. Thank you very much again. And uh, I will see you all very soon. All right. Cheers, guys.